It's a goal. Hey Sugarfoot! So this video is gonna be about me stretching my ears. So I was once at three fourths of an inch and I don't sleep with my plugs in. So I usually take my plugs out while I'm sleeping because it's really uncomfortable. And it was like two days in a row that I forgot to put them back in. And when I tried, it didn't fit. And I didn't feel like buying new plugs. So they've just been shrinking. Like my ears is, is, is practically back to its regular size. This one, and then this one is like this. So they shrunk quite a, a bit, okay? So now I'm gonna try to stretch them back up because I still wanna be at one inch. I never got to one inch, I only made three folds. So I'm trying to stretch them back up. This video is in partnership with Stretch It Body Jewelry. They sent me a stretching kit and I'm gonna show you guys how to use it and how to properly stretch your ears. What came in the kit was this stretching kit, which is pretty cool because it's, it's rounded. I'll show you guys what I mean when I say it's rounded. And jojoba oil. And I'm not quite sure what these are, but I'll figure that out. So it comes with every gauge from 14 gauge to double zero. Yeah, from 14 gauge to double zero. Depending on the kit that you have. I see they have different, three different kits. They have the 14 to six gauge, four to double zero, and then 14 gauge to double zero. I have the 14 gauge to double zero. I don't think I need that far down though. Let me see. I'm not sure what size my ears are. Okay. So this is a two. I think my ear is at a two. This one is at a two. And this one. This one's probably at double zero. This one is at a double zero, and this one is at a two. So, y'all fancy. This is the jojoba oil. It's a cute little, cute little bag of jojoba oil. My skin's so dry, it just sucks up that oil so fast. I think these plugs are like super cute. So they like have a rounded at back and it's, um, what's it called when it's not hollow? The opposite of hollow. <laughs> so I just now noticed that I was not explaining anything as I was doing it. Before you do anything, weird. you want to warm up your ear with like a warm rag, apply oil to your ear, and then, then you want to push the appropriate taper through. If you get any resistance with the taper, don't pass, go. Stop and go down a size. After getting the taper through, then you push in the plug. This ear is, this ear is definitely a two. The zero does not fit. I haven't worn anything in my ears for months. I finally have something in the ear. Let me make sure this ear is at a double zero. Yep, double zero. <laughs> Two completely different sizes. So I have to restretch this ear back to this size and then after that, stretch them further. But I want them to be at the same size first. So because my ears were previous, previously stretched, it'll be a little easier for me to stretch back up. So I'm gonna stretch every week. I'm gonna give it a week and then stretch up to a zero and then another week and stretch up to a double zero. This is where I was. Look at the difference. How much my ear shrunk. And this is where I want to be. Yes, this is a big difference. have a long way to go. But if you would like to purchase a stretching kit from Stretch It Body Jewelry with the jojoba oil, you can use the link in my bio or you can just um, go to their website and use code Britney 10 for a 10% discount. I feel like this ear is always the most difficult ear, but I don't feel like it's gonna be that difficult this time. I don't know, we'll see. 
but I'm using jojoba oil from Stretchy Body Jewelry and the, the stretching kit from there too. And I really like that they're, ton well, it's not tunnels, their plugs are rounded in the back so it won't be like painful. Cause I hate laying on plugs when they're hollow and it's pressing into my skin, I hate that. So it's like rounded in the back. Don't mind how I look right now, I'm putting braids in my hair, but I wanted to come back and say that this one keeps slipping through. And this is the two gauge. So I'm gonna stretch up to the zero. And I'm only doing this because my ears were previously stretched already. So it's kind of easy to stretch up. Let's see if I can get to this one. So from a two to a zero is this. Well, that's not really, but that. Now I'm just trying to make sure the plug won't fall out. Okay, that's not going through. Good. Zero, double zero. I'll be back. Okay, so it's like five days later and this one keeps falling out while I'm asleep. Like it goes just straight through. And this is the double zero. This one is at a zero and it's also like just going straight through. Well, not straight through, but it, it falls out sometimes. Um, I don't think it's ready to stretch up though. This one for this ear is a double zero, right? And I believe, I don't know how big this is. I don't know. It's smaller than five eighths, but it's bigger than a double zero. And it like matches up perfectly with the flare. So I'm trying to see if I can get this one in. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. But first, let me check and see if I can stretch this one up yet. So this one is at a zero. Double zero. No. This one is at a zero, yeah. That's a double. I'm trying to stretch it up to a double zero, which is like the biggest jump. Like the jump from a zero to a double zero is freaking huge. This is a zero, this is a double zero. I don't know why that jump is so big. Here we go. give that a little bit more time because it is a little tight and I don't want my ear to feel uncomfortable. I'm putting the zero back in. Now this one, let's see. So we're at this, right? We're here and it goes straight through, right? Let me show you. Go straight through. So let's see if we can get this one. The only thing about it is these tunnels are uncomfortable to sleep in. Oh, that's the perk about these things. Because they're rounded in the back and they're, um, how do I say this? They're not hollow. They're not tunnels. It's, it's less of a discomfort to sleep in. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get this in. See? See that little patch of skin in the middle? I don't, like I don't know what I'm gonna do, because these things keep falling out. You know what? I have some tape. So until I can get the next size up, I'm gonna have to tape it to keep it in my ear because it's gonna keep falling out. Okay, it's not gonna come out, but I'm just gonna leave that like that for a little while until I can get the next size up. So we're at uh, zero, 
double zero what's your take okay so these things are like pulling out of my ears so i'm gonna see if i can stretch it up okay so it's ready for a double zero double zero I feel like the fact that these are weighted, it helps to stretch it faster. This one been ready to come out. I tried to wrap it with some tape so it wouldn't fall out and yeah, it, go, it falls out when I'm sleeping. Right, let's see if I can get this half inch in there. Not yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it with some more tape. I feel like I've spent so much money on my ears. So I'm at double zero, and I don't know. Because <laughs> it's wrapped with tape, so I don't know. I'll know once I get to a half inch. This is my goal. I got a long way to go. So if you want to properly stretch your ears, I advise you to get a proper stretching kit. Don't get acrylic because you can get infections with it. Use some type of oil, preferably jojoba oil, because it helps to aid in the stretching process and it prevents your ears from like getting tears. Proper way to stretch. Use a tunnel and the corresponding plug. There is a such thing as dead stretching, but if it's your first time stretching, I do not recommend dead stretching, okay? Because it can it can tear your ears up, okay? If your ears aren't prepared for it. So stretch the proper way. Use tunnels and the corresponding plugs with a stretching oil. Hit the notification bell for when I have new uploads, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, leave it down below, and I'll make a corresponding video, or I'll respond in the comments. Stretch your body jewelry. Okay, so these things are like, oh my gosh, I hate you.